What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. Today we're going to be specifically talking about Lulu and everything that's pushed my boy to the limit that ended up having him take out Crown Camacho at the end of the episode, RIP the Crown. But when you really think about it, he has a lot of people that are against him and that's putting a lot of pressure on his shoulders. We got Rock, his sister. We got Unique. He's back in the picture now. Marvin a little bit. We had Crown. And of course, Cartier, he's here and he's helping things out. But this looks like it might be putting Lulu in a little bit of debt. And we can't forget about his niece, Jukebox, who is upset that he gave her song to Ziza. Now, if you like power content, breakdowns, live after show discussions, hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me on Instagram, M-O-E-D-O-T-J. So let's jump into it and see how each person has been poking at Lulu and pushed them to become that demon. You the heir to this throne, Kanan, and it's waiting for you, if you want it. You know, it was one thing when I heard that you were smashing just behind my back, but I ain't want to let bitches get in the way of business. The fuck you know about business, Luke? You in over your head, so deep, you don't even know which way is up, nigga. You and I know you can't do this shit, not without me. Everybody know. And why you went around me, my sister, moved me out the label? All you are is Rock's baby brother. That's all you ever gonna be. <laughs> Niggas say this shit is all business, that it's never personal. Yeah, fuck that. Sometimes it gets personal. Real personal. Bodies start dropping. Fast and fucking hard. Hurt niggas, hurt niggas. So what we gonna do with him now? Of course, we're gonna start with Crown. We seen that he got choked out. Now, Crown has been all in Lulu's face and telling them, you can't run this business, Lou. Without me, you can't do anything, he told the DJ. Man, it took a lot for me to not laugh in this nigga's face. He don't know nothing about the music business. He also went behind Lulu's back to go talk to Rock about getting him out of the game. So Lulu wants to know, why do you keep me around? And of course, Lulu, his whole passion is into the music. He's going in debt to try to make this happen. The music isn't working. Now he found out that Crown went behind his back and talked directly to Rock about getting him out the game. On top of, he just found out that Crown, not only did he help Jessica get to LA by setting up a job, he was sleeping with her. Now Lulu said he doesn't wanna bring women in between the two, but we know that still put a little bit of hurt on his heart. So if you keep poking at him and telling him he can't do anything, and on top of that, he told Lulu, you'll never be nothing more than Rock's little brother. That right there pretty much pushed Lulu over the edge and he had to take him out. And this was the last time we were gonna see Crown. But if you're in business with somebody, if they're supplying you with the money, you gotta make it happen. That's how business go. And you can't talk to outsiders when this is your business partner and tell them, oh man, he's stupid. I don't, I don't know how I work with him. He don't know the business. It's not gonna end up good for you. And then to go behind his back and talk to his sister to try to get him out the game, Lulu did everything he was supposed to when it came to taking out Crown. Next up is none other than Raquel Thomas, the lady that is the hardest on him. We know every time that she talks to Lulu, she's calling him out because Lulu doesn't want to be in the game. He has a hobby, it's called Bulletproof Records, and that's where all of his time and attention is going. But Rock has other plans. She wants the Baisley project. She wants the 40. She wants to expand the Jersey. And Lulu, you gotta be a part of this in order for it to work at all. Lulu isn't bringing in any money outside of him hustling, but he's not even really hustling. You heard Worrell say, Lulu's never at the 40s. That's why I came to talk to you, Mark. So he's hearing Rock come up with all these plans. He told her, let's not mess with the mob. Let's not extend out to Jersey right now. We don't need that. I don't wanna be in the 40s but she did both anyway, and now they've been getting robbed. She got harassed out in the woods, and now she's telling everybody, we're about to meet with the mob. Even though it's gonna be rough out here, we don't care. We're not backing down from anyone. Lulu's to the point of hearing Rock talk to him about being in the projects, the 40s, instead of music, he even tells Kanan, you sure you wanna be in this? Kanan tells him, this is what we do, uncle. He said, no, this is what your mama does. 
You see, Lulu is trying to get away from the dope game and he also wants his nephew, Kanan, to get away from it. Because with Rock in charge, hey, it might as well be the end of time because she's leading them into a trap. Lulu is in debt to debt to his sister. He's not making any money and he's trying to get recommendations. Now, the recommendations he's given is to better the family, to make sure that everyone comes back alive. Rock doesn't want to hear that. But she also heard from Unique that maybe, just maybe, Lulu actually missed Warrell well that night. So she's saying, how about we just kick you out the family and you don't have anything to do with us? He'll still be family, but when she says this, she means out the organization. So that means any money that she brings in from the dope game, he can't have none. Any money that the 40s bring in, he can't have none. But Lulu needs this income, especially because we found out that he killed Crown. So right now, Rock is one of the reasons he can't succeed in the music business. He has to stay in the dope game and she's pushing him to that limit. Not to mention the guy that he has a deal with for Ziza, he's getting closer and closer to Rock. So this is gonna make it even tougher for Lulu in the music business because Ziza just told us Cartier said he's leaving if we don't get this song on the radio. So right now, Lulu, all he has is his music, but he killed his partner crown his sister's talking about pushing him out cartier he owes him for the soundboard last but not least we have unique his arch rival unique has been going at lulu since we can remember he even tried to get lulu to flip on his sister now when they come in to visit unique to talk about the mob you hear him call him out and he says somebody look a little shaky in here a little scary he's talking about lulu because he wants to know how did you miss warrell when you were right there and he was with a girl. He's saying, Rock, I don't know, man. Maybe this guy's a little bit shaky. So basically what he's doing is saying, Lulu, I don't believe anything you talking about. He already came to him and stepped to him once. So now he's calling him out in front of his family. So this is definitely making Unique look like he has the upper hand and Lulu's gonna have to prove himself because he doesn't want to get clowned. Not only does he want to not get clowned in front of his sister or his brother, Warrell's in there, so this looks very bad. And Unique, he knows exactly what he's doing. Unique doesn't care, he's not backing down. He's gonna step to Lulu because he knows at this point he's semi-untouchable because he's part of the mob now. They called him family. So Lulu just has to take this, pause, and look at him and listen to what he got to say. But right now, Unique has the upper hand, and I think he was one of the check marks to get Lulu to act the way he did when it came to Crown. All right, out of the three, which one do you think actually pushed Lulu over the edge to get to killing? Was it Unique saying that he missed? Was it Rock saying you ain't in the game, you don't make no decision? Or was it really just Crown saying you can't do it and you'll be nothing more than Rock's little brother? Now I say it has to be Rock because when he said you won't be nothing more than Rock's little brother, that's when he got angry. He doesn't want to be known as that. He wants to be Lulu, the record exec of Bulletproof Records. But let me know, Unique, Crown, Cartier, or Rock, who is the one to push Lulu to turn up like this? I'm Modi J. If you like this content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.